other day It came on after dinner Acting crazy I mirrored its confusion but it Hi, it's Chloe And Olivia From the local lowdown And we're here with Patchwork at BJ's Can we start off with everyone introducing themselves And what you play in the band? Um, I'm Jesse I uh, play uh, rhythm guitar and sing. Uh, I'm Brendan. I'm not in the band. <laughs> He's a good friend of the band. <laughs> it's okay. The, it's okay. The, the man, yeah, in some ways, the spirit I animal. Know as much about the band as anyone. <laughs> that is really. still very you important. You could do this interview yes. alone, probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so our first question is that your EP, Beacon, was released in 2019. What was the process of making this EP, and what is it looking, what is it like looking back now? The process was pretty straightforward and fun looking back on it now i sang in like a lot more of like a soft voice and i've kind of gotten a little bit better at singing so sometimes mm. i listen to it and i don't like that aspect but i like the a lot of those a lot of those songs were written like pretty quickly and then recorded so it's, sometimes i take too long to you know write a song and then yeah. it ends up you just kind of sit with it for too long and then you sometimes you don't even end up doing anything so i liked the immediacy of that ep i guess yeah yeah. Um, alongside of the EP sounding great, the artwork is fantastic as well. What's the story behind the EP artwork? Um, that uh, album cover is actually taken, uh, that was a photo taken in Beacon, New York. So when I was thinking about what to call it, I just really like that picture. It's, uh, my ex-girlfriend's dad actually took that photo. He's a, mm. like a photographer professionally, but yeah. um, he like went through his archives and found it and got it to me formatted in the right way. So, yeah, yeah. it worked out. It looks really cool. Yeah, I it's an amazing it. photo. Yeah. And it was also just funny that it was in Beacon, New York, and I was like, oh. Like, yeah, where is know. Beacon, New York? It's uh, out kind of a little closer to New York City, kind of near, like, um, uh, like Nyack and, like, uh, some of those towns that are, like, like a quick, like, train ride in, but they're, oh. like, like, the Hudson Valley area. Yeah, yeah Got it, sure. got it. Cool, thank you. So, what was it like performing on a bill that was filled with Fredonia alumni, and what is it like coming back to Fredonia? It's cool to come back here every time. I still vote here, so I come back every two <laughs> years, and I go to nice. that like high school up the street. Uh -huh, um, uh -huh. Get your sticker. But yep. Yeah, exactly. Sticker. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Th every time that I've come back here and seen anyone play, I'm always blown away by what's going on. When we were here, it was like a lot of jam bands and a lot of stuff that I wasn't super pumped on. So, mm -hmm. this, like, I feel like the scene has been growing like, like or just better i don't know and everyone seems a lot more supportive there's a lot more like weird competitiveness and mm -hmm. stuff back then so yeah, yeah. it's very like everybody kind of works together it's very like interlocked for like, sure connections everywhere so I get that vibe how is it for you coming back here? uh it's awesome um <laughs> it's awesome to drink here <laughs> and uh i'm back here drinking nice that's great that's fantastic so how has it been working with Steak and Cake Records on their upcoming show? Um, I, <laughs> I feel like I haven't done anything, honestly, to promote it. Uh, yeah. I was thinking that I was going to start posting stuff tomorrow, and then the show's the next day. Wait, no, what day is it? Yeah. Today's Thursday, but it's yeah. now Friday. Okay, morning. yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, Brandon always just, like, pulls out, you know, all the best whenever he does this, like, mm -hmm. uh, the anniversary stuff. And I think this one's the 13th. And, like, the marketing for it has been really funny. Like, the cow walking with, like, there's, like, a ladder that he walks under and, like, a black <laughs> yeah. hat and all that stuff. Is it, that, I don't know. The, I don't remember the artist who actually does those every year, but um, they make awesome stuff. And uh, also, Brandon just has a cool way of just getting, you know, the bill mixed between, like, like I know Jake King is going to be playing it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jake is, like, a decade younger than me. But, you know, just kind of <laughs> stacking up everything and, like, finding... And Maya Lamakia, I think Lamakia is playing mm -hmm. that too, and she, she the stuff she's been doing has been blowing people's minds up mm -hmm. there. So right, yeah, super pumped on that. Um, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah, just I'm excited to play it. I have had nothing to do with the setup though, to be honest with you. <laughs> cool. Are there any upcoming releases, shows, merch, or other news that we should be looking out for? Um, yeah, the Pat sure. work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we made a <laughs> we drafted up an idea for a shirt that's patchwork. But it's my little brother, Pat, wearing a shirt that has a CH on it, and then it says Pat work above it. 
I love that And it's his so senior. Much. It's his senior photo uh, <laughs> of, of high school. <laughs> and he was pretty uh, bummed out when I told him I was going to do it. He told me he begged me to not do it. So that makes it even better. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's out of his control. Is this <laughs> yeah. just audio or is this video it's too? Audio. Just audio. Okay. I was going to tell you put a picture of the shirt in there. Oh, like, yeah, yeah. You could give a visual description. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's also like not even important as far as we'll, we'll keep them wondering. Yeah. Yeah. The pad work shirt is coming out. Yeah, that's all you need to know <laughs> about no, no. eyes and ears peeled. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. It's been Chloe and Olivia, and we'll catch you in the next interview. A possibility.